Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Save the Bay podcast. My name is Matt Vieira, and I'm the social media and marketing manager at Save the Bay. And here with me, as always, is Adam Kowarski. Great to see everyone again. I'm uh, Save the Bay's aquarium manager here, and we're at our Exploration Center and Aquarium. Which now is open seven days a week, daily. E- yep, every day, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. You guys can come in whenever you want. Um, and we got all our same activities going on uh, with a brand new theme this month to kick summer off. Yeah, which is? Uh, Birds by the Bay Yes, is our theme this month and the reason why is Rhode Island is kind of a hot spot for migrating birds. Uh, We get hundreds of species that migrate through our bay every year whether it's coastally, whether it's inland, whether it's uh, more in the actual waters of the bay, uh, diving ducks, different things like that. You can come here learn about these different animals that come into our bay um, by doing scavenger hunts to find birds throughout the aquarium which is really fun Um, or you can come here and learn about some of the prey items that they eat even here in our aquarium a lot of the fish in our bay are good food for us also good food for the birds and i've noticed when i come down to the aquarium not only do i get to see the critters in the bay inside the aquarium but there's a lot of shorebirds right here on the beach. It's yeah. The, same, the aquarium's located right on Easton's Beach, so. Exactly. Yeah. It's great bird watching um, territory. So if you're a bird watcher, uh, come to the aquarium. You could spend some time looking at some birds that are more pelagic, swimming out in the ocean and stuff like that. We've seen things here uh, like bald eagles, harrier wow. hawks, osprey, um, all kinds of oyster catchers, shorebirds, uh, egrets, stuff like that. And one of the interesting things about our location, there's a freshwater pond across the street that has a lot of birds that prefer fresh water yes and then we have the ocean right here as well so you're going to be getting those so get the, the salty ones you know some salty ones some fresh ones a little bit of both <laughs> now i've i've been walking on beaches not necessarily here um in rhode island but mm. other places as well where they, as you they, should they block off <laughs> some areas on the beach for yeah. a certain type of bird oh yeah i yes. believe it was the piping plover. yeah you got it yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's the one matt yeah so so they they nest on the beach Is they that nest correct? on the beach and they prefer sand dunes and areas okay. like that um so they'll build their nest there and that bird has been an endangered bird for a long time their numbers are actually coming back a little bit that's great and because of exactly what you're saying yeah. people realize that our, our big old feet we're going to stomp on the eggs if we don't look yeah. so the researchers they find the nest they rope them off um, now, here at our beach, we get piping plovers that will feed and move through. Oh, really? They don't really nest here. It's a very high-energy beach. So yeah. not a, necessarily, if I'm a piping plover, I'm not going to want to put my nest on Easton's Beach because there's too much fun stuff going on. <laughs> I want somewhere that's not as fun where no one's going to step on my eggs, you know. And I know I, I've been out on salt marsh, uh, salt marsh, salt marsh restoration projects, sure. and I've seen willets. I've seen salt marsh sparrows. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, piping plovers as well. Yeah. Yep. Marshes. They'll go through the marshes too. Yeah. You got it. So Rhode yeah. Island's a very interesting ecosystem for birds as you well. Got it. So it's really cool yes. to come down here and learn about the birds of the bay. Yeah. So exactly. Inside the aquarium, you're not necessarily going to be able to find any actual birds, but right, we have right. a lot of activities going on. We have a craft where you a paper craft where yes. you create your own yeah. shorebird. Yeah, you get to make a really sassy seagull is okay. what's going on now. Is that what it is? Let sassy me tell seagulls? you, the, whoever makes the sassiest seagull, you know, maybe we'll give them a prize or something like that. You come like down that. and try. We'll see. Yeah. So come, come down and make a sassy seagull. We also have, as always, we have a, a story hour. A story great time. story time. Yeah. Uh, the book is Where Did All the Water Go? It's actually a very bird-centric book. A great one to come uh, learn about. We do those that usually in the morning. We do a great story time and yeah and also like every theme for every month we do a scavenger hunt this this month it's all about birds yeah exactly you get yeah. to wander around find birds and again you win prizes when you find all of the birds in the which aquarium. is always a lot yeah. of fun yeah uh, again the aquarium now is opened seven days a week 10 a.m to 4 p.m yep, you got so it come down anytime and through mm-hmm. the month of june mm-hmm you will be able to enjoy all these bird-centric activities. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, and plus all the awesome ocean critters yep, down here. Yep, and as always, you can sign up for Feeding Frenzies. Yes. The dates will be posted very shortly right on our website. Yes. Um, and as summer's coming on, we're actually going to start to offer more than just once a month, so you'll be able to do those a whole bunch and come in and feed all our animals in here, which is, you know, as always, one of it's, my favorite yeah, things. It's, it's so yeah. awesome. I can't recommend it enough. Make sure you go to the website, savebay.org slash aquarium. Find our dates there and yep. s- and. Uh, register ahead of time because these fill up quick and we only allow a certain amount of people per per trip yeah so so again we're open (laughs) seven days a week now i mean it's 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 kind of funny because usually when i come down here we film on off days but now there's no off days there's no off days there's kids running around having a good time right now the the aquarium is packed right now if you guys can see that but there's there's (laughs) or hear that there's people in here right now it's 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 a happening place so come down uh we have a new critter 
Yes, as of this morning, uh, donated by a local commercial fisherman that got him by accident. He knew it was something cool, so he yeah. wanted to bring it to, to my attention. Okay. Um, and it's a great specimen to display here. Um, this thing's called a Northern Stargazer. Now, folks, you can look up some pictures of it, or maybe we'll put some up once we, uh, we get some good shots of it. This thing, it lives on the bottom of the sound, so really deep, deep waters, right? Yeah. So it lurks down there. It hides under the sand. They call it a Stargazer because its eyes are fixed straight up. It can only look up to the stars, right? It gazes Very at cool. the stars all day. Now, this thing, it's also electrogenic. All right. Now, what I know we've talked about in other critters that are electrogenic. Yeah. What, what makes yeah. a critter electrogenic? So they can actually biologically, um, internally, they can produce an electrical current and actually zap things. Is that kind of like an electric eel? It's is the same exact idea okay. as an electric eel. Now right. we have these that live in the sound. They don't live in the bay really, so you're not going to really encounter them swimming around. Yeah. Um, but they live deep down in the waters. They zap their prey. They create a negative vacuum with their mouth and <laughs> slurp them up, suck them up whole. That's and they really even cool. grab onto them with their very pointy, sharp teeth. Wow. We have one here. He's about a foot and a half long. He's a big guy. He's big and he is cool. That's really cool. You guys got to come check it out. He's in the big tank. He's in, he's the, in the biggest exhibit we have here. Yeah, he's really neat. Um, and then even during feeding frenzies, we're going to start feeding him as well. Oh, so. that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah so that, he, let me very, tell you. Very cool. he, and he only eats once a week. That's it. So okay. we're going to save it for those of you that pay to come see it. You know what I mean? You yeah, got yeah. to pay to see this. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's really awesome. We actually have a video on our YouTube of one of the smaller ones we had uh, maybe a year ago, year right, and a half right. ago. Uh, it's really cool, but to see it in person, you have to see it in person. Yeah, you it, blink, the food's amazing. gone. It, it's like magic, yeah. <laughs> speaking, speaking of the food gone so quick, uh, coming up on June 15th, is our Taste the yes, Bay. Yes, um, possibly my favorite Save the Bay event. It's, 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 it's a favorite. It yeah. definitely is a favorite. Coming up at June 15th, like I said, it's a Thursday night. Uh, we hold it in conjunction with our annual meeting. Yes. And you come down to Save the Bay right on the water in Providence, 100 Save the Bay Drive. And you can taste local flavors, uh, local drinks, and yeah. local live music. So yeah. it's a really awesome little, like, cool local, I don't know how else to say it, local activity. It's, it's just a great yeah. time and just the most amazing people come. Tons of yeah. people come, but our base center is huge. We use all the rooms there. I mean, yeah. the, the I love food. <laughs> I'm, I'm a food guy. You know, I've worked on local farms most of my life, too. Yeah. Um, and it's great to see all these local products and uh, restaurants being displayed here. It, it's a fun one. Yep. Discover yeah. new brews of beer. There's a ton of craft breweries around. They're yes. all, a lot of them yeah, are going to be wineries, taste if the you don't like beer. Wineries. Um, even local uh, liquor and things like that like shell fishermen are going to yeah, be there yeah. there's matunic oyster bar it, it it really is an amazing event if yeah. you go to savebay.org slash taste you can buy your ticket there we can only sell a, a certain amount of tickets so it will fill up right. again it's going to be june 15th in a couple weeks yeah. uh, it's thursday exclusive night exclusive event yeah it's a very it's a very good <laughs> event and, and if you wanted to come to our annual meeting that of course is free uh taste the bay costs cost money but the annual meeting is free that happens right beforehand right so. and that's a great way to learn about what save the bay has been doing absolutely they, which they, everyone no needs way. to know yeah. yeah which is why we have the meeting so yeah yeah um also coming up on july 29th is our biggest event of the year to save the base yes swim. the 41st save yes. the bay swim. yeah and i'm excited so last year we had our 40th anniversary it was a great turnout we're hoping to make it even better this year yeah. at 41 i think so, we can do it so july 29th if you're a swimmer Go register for the swim on our, yeah. on our website, savebay.org. If you're not really a swimmer, you can support a swimmer uh, by donating to their to their fundraiser, or you can kayak, or you can volunteer. Yeah, and there's just so much great stuff. It's great energy, yeah. um, even just coming to be a spectator. Let me tell you, 500 people swimming or so, you know, people yeah. swimming across the bay all at once. You've never seen anything. Yeah, you've like never it. seen anything it's like super that. Super cool. We yeah. have a we have a nice little party at the finish line in Jamestown. So if you volunteer, if you swim or you kayak, you can join us. If you just want to spectate and cheer on somebody, you can do that as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A wonderful. So uh, we we can't recommend it enough. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so just to recap, this month's theme June for the aquarium. Birds by the Bay. Birds by the Come Bay. Come check it out. <laughs> Open seven days a week. If you want more information on this month's theme or to register for feeding frenzy, visit SaveBay.org/aquarium. And uh, we just wanted to take a quick time, quick minute to shout out Corvius Solutions. They're the reason why we're able to underwrite uh, mem family memberships exactly. for you to get in for free. If you're a family member, you get into the aquarium for free, and that is because of Corvius Solutions. Exactly. So we just want to give a quick yeah. shout out to them. Thank you, Corvius. Yes. Thank you very <laughs> much. And until ne next month, thanks for listening, everybody. And Adam, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Matt.